really like to predetermine what I'm gonna do out there. You know, I just try to go with the flow and do what's do what's requ required of me out there. And I felt like tonight, um, you know, we were shorthanded a bit you know, in the scoring department. You know, missing Kai, missing Seth, missing Lamarcus. So I felt like uh, we started the game off fast, but then they they kind of they they got hot as well and. You know, I didn't want us to get stagnant on the offensive side of the ball, so I just put up a lot of shots tonight. And Andre was there to rebound a lot of them for me. Um, and guys played off of me today. You know, they seen I had it going early, so, you know, they were looking for me pretty often. So it was uh, – I felt good as the game went on. And second, just what was the feeling when Kyrie comes into the building and sits courtside, walks with you guys into the locker room, but obviously can't take two steps onto the floor and play? It was ridiculous, like – I don't understand it at all. I mean, can't, is it every, it's a few people in our arena that's unvaxxed, right? Like, they lifted all of that in our arena, right? So what's the, I don't get it. It's a second like, mandate that says he can come in, but can't play. I just, yeah, I don't get it. It just feels like at this point now, somebody's trying to make a statement or a point um, to flex their authority. Um, but, you know, everybody out here looking for attention, and that's when I feel like the, the mayor wants right now some attention, you know, um, but he'll figure it out soon. He better. Um, but it just didn't make any sense. Like there's unvaxxed people in this building already. We got a guy who uh, can come into the building. I guess, are they fearing our safety? With, like, I don't get it. So yeah, we're all confused. Pretty much everybody in the world is confused at this point early on in the season. You know, people didn't understand what was going on, but now it just looks stupid. So hopefully Eric, you, you got to figure this out. You, you got to uh, talk to him at the end of the game there where you guys, uh, uh, is that like a good to see you or does he talk to you about the game? Does he say like a hey, good game or was I mean, I seen him yesterday, <laughs> you know, you know, so no, nah, it's just for y'all. I mean, the fans and the first time seeing him in here, I guess it's something different, but we see him every day in practice. You know, he can come to the practice facility so he could travel on the road, but. But when you have a game like that, he doesn't say anything. I mean, we've heard you talk about his game before. He didn't say anything to you like oh, that was okay. That was we we yeah, he definitely said it was a special game, but um we say that to each other. He said that to me after I had 14 points <laughs> in Charlotte. You know, I just think we appreciate each other's the subtleties in each other's game. It don't have to be a huge night for us to appreciate what one another did. Kevin, what's it like being out there on the floor? and feeling like you can dominate whenever you want to. What's it, what's it like? Um, you feel kind of at ease knowing that you can affect so many, you know, different plays and different areas of the game, which would, uh, with my skill set. And uh, I can affect my teammates and how they approach the game with my skill set. So I just try to think about the big picture and seeing – you know, I know I work on my game and I've gotten to this point as an individual player, but is that I'm at a point in my career is like, all right, how can I impact everybody out here? You know, how can I make the other coaches think about their game plans? And, you know, so I feel like I up the level of everybody out on the floor and that's a good feeling to have. And following up on the Kyrie stuff, what is it like playing and looking over and seeing him right there? Yeah, I was at the free throw line, I think, when he walked in. And me and Drum looked at each other and was like, yo, this is unreal. Like, I've never seen nothing like this before. And uh, we just smiled. And, I mean, been like we, we, we can say that about a lot of situations over these last two or three years where things just didn't make any sense, you know, especially with COVID being involved. So, um, hopefully it gets figured out. Like I said, Eric, you got to, I mean, you got to figure something out, man, because – you know, it's looking crazy, especially on national TV, and he can come to the game but not play. Like, come on, man. Hey, yo, Eric. Kevin, uh, can you talk about the stretch that Bruce has had these last few games? I mean, he's just been on a tear, it seems. Yeah, I mean, last year we used him as a screener, roller to the rim, and he is effective in that role. But now, I mean, I, I think that helped him until his development as a player playing in different spots on the floor. So you see to this year – He's playing like an all-around player, a guard, shooting a three, getting it off the rim, defending as he always does. Seven rebounds, five assists, two steals, like 15 points. I mean, he just feel he's just playing with ultimate confidence. And, you know, when you start to see, I mean, I look at Bruce as still a younger player. 
and you start to see younger players figure out what they want to do in this league, it's just it's fun to see in real time. And I'm just excited that he's uh, he's getting better and better. And he wants to get he want he's not complacent with where he is right now. I can tell you that. And, and second, I mean, just if the mandate stays in place, Kyrie's only going to be able to play in what four of the last 14 games, which means it's going to be a heavier load on you. Do you look at it that way? And are you ready to, I guess, shoulder that load for the rest of the season? What's the last question? This is, let me die out there, man. I told you. Uh, Drummond, 18 and 10 tonight. He's been here about a month now. What has his impact been uh, on this group? Man, it's just <clears throat> incredible. I mean, we sim- I feel like when Drum, Drum simplifies the game, um, you know, he's a force, you know, when he's rolling to the rim, rebounding all our misses, you know, running the floor, defending like he did, protecting the rim. He had nights like this easily. I mean, double doubles for him. He could do that in his sleep. So it's all about staying focused and on us as teammates to put him in good, good positions to be successful. You hit like a, a midi to put you guys up, by, I think, seven, maybe four minutes left. And then right after that, that's when Julius got you um, and you went down. And I think they went on a nine nothing run after that. A clear path and the three, two, three. Right. Exactly. I mean, A, what what kind of explanation, if any, did you get from the ref? And do you think that kind of threw you guys off at that point? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, The ref said he came over and just took the ball on my hands. But it was a similar play against Philly where I did the same thing and um, tried to get his try to run and jump and be when he's done. And then I got there a little too early and hit him and they got they called the foul. So I was expecting the same thing for me because. I'm blindsided and he running full speed, not turning to him. I got to be able to spin. You know what I'm saying? That's what I told him. And it was one of those 50 50 plays he felt like that um, Julius got. And But I'm glad we was able to bounce back from that and not let that, um, you know, spiral us and lead us to an L. And guys made plays. Bruce and, and Clax were huge making that defensive play to see the game, game for us. So I like, I like how poised we stayed after that. that. That's exactly what I was asking. How did you guys, from I think it was 9 0 run, how did you guys kind of settle that emotionally and not let it become something that was game deciding? Yeah, I mean, because somewhat of out, of out of our control, um, we all felt that it was that call should have been different, but we can't let it affect us for the next few plays, especially late in the game. So um, that's just having veteran uh, a veteran presence out there. Guys understood that we just got to keep pushing and win the game, and that's what we did. 